Hey everybody, it's Captain Mikey here, and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be doing uh, a final review of the video game Titanic VR. Um, uh, I got my captain's hat with me today. <laughs> Normally I, I haven't worn this hat in quite quite a long time, but uh, I decided to put it on for the video. Um... This, like I said, this will be the review for Titanic VR and what my thoughts are on it. Um, but before I do, I am going to show you guys something. Um, when I was uh, playing the game in my last video, I was trying to find the big piece towards the end. Um, I know the general area where it's located. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it, and since I was on a time crunch, uh, I kind of had to abandon it at the time. But I have found it, and I'm going to show you guys that now. Okay, now that we've seen that clip, uh, I'm going to talk about what I, what do I think of the game. Well, I think it's a really, really cool game. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of content in there. You can do a lot of stuff in there, explore a lot of stuff. Um... We went through the tour guides, we went through the sinking, um, we went through the story mode, and then we did the sandbox mode of the stern and the bow of Titanic. So there's a lot of stuff you can do in this game. Um, it's definitely well worth it, to, even though it's it's like, I think it's $19.99. Um, you can get it on Steam. You can get it on the Oculus Store. You can get even get it on the PlayStation Store. One thing I've noticed in that game is that there is a lot of glitches, unfortunately. Um, it, it really kind of sucks, but, you know, I guess it is what it is. A ton of glitches and... I don't know if it's just if they didn't have time to work it out or or what, but like I said, you know, it's it's still a very very good game. I really enjoyed playing through it again, um, and I hope you guys did too. I hope that if the the dev team at Titanic VR uh, are seeing this that they understand that yes there is a lot of glitches um, and whatnot another thing I wanted to say was even though the game came out in 2017 I believe they haven't done really any updating to it so there's no patches or anything like that no no DLC no none of that stuff it's just the game so if possible in the future that they you know put out like more missions for the uh, for the game whether it be 
DLC or if they make a whole nother Titanic uh, VR 2 or something like that but have the wreck more like what it is today uh, in 2021 uh, rather than what you see in Titanic VR which is like around 1985 uh, some parts are probably more around previous decades like probably around the 50s and 60s um, so that's something that they could do uh, just like I said make more DLC uh, add more missions make better graphics you know patches and whatnot um, other future content that I would like to see from immersive uh, VR is if they were to create other shipwrecks too so like other games uh, some ideas would be like the Andrea Doria maybe even the Britannic Titanic sister ship um, all sorts of there's all sorts of wrecks out there that would be awesome to explore in VR. Um, you could make scuba diving games or whatever. So yeah, I'd be excited to see what immersive VR could come up with for future projects. Uh, I don't know specifically if they're going to... Uh, stick with shipwrecks famous or non-famous um, I, I haven't really seen anything else since Titanic VR so um, hopefully hopefully they can you know do more shipwrecks and because I would love to explore them you know and even if they were to make like a fully explorable game along with the sinking plus the shipwreck exploration that'd be pretty cool and I would like I would like that there's never enough even though in recent years making ship games has become more and more there's still never enough and because I know before there wasn't a lot if barely any but thank god people are seeing this and people are making ship video games whether it's virtual reality or non-virtual reality so there's that so my final thoughts on this video is definitely go out and play it see it for yourself it's it's awesome hands down it is the best titanic wreck diving game out there it is way better than the 2010 uh dive to the titanic game i'm sure a lot of us have played that and we're kind of disappointed uh, even if you're not a titanic enthusiast but you're a shipwreck explorer well here's a game that would be great you know you can play this game either on your desktop computer or in virtual reality you can choose whichever one you want and it does it does uh, support controllers so you can use those you don't have to have VR and I think you can even use the keyboard as well if you wish so definitely guys check that out I again I enjoyed playing this game I had a fun time doing it I spent a lot of long hours uh, at the Titanic uh, just exploring and having fun and trying to explain things, at least my knowledge of the Titanic. And, you know, so again, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this. So like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be coming out with more content. Um, I might be doing one or two more videos that have to do with Titanic VR. Uh, 
I may end up making more uh, Honor and Glory uh, with uh, Titanic VR then and now. But obviously we have to wait more for Honor and Glory to come out with more content in order for that to work. I was also thinking of doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the real wreck and Titanic VR. So I, I don't think I don't think really anybody's really done that yet. They, they might have. I'm not sure. Well, I'll have to look into that. Uh, but yeah, that's something I'm thinking of doing down the road. Not right now, but further down the road. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe again. These are my final thoughts on Titanic VR. Go get a copy and play the game for yourself and have fun. All right, well, thank you, everybody. See you later. Bye.